pressures, try to fire us up um, and get us off balance. But at the end of the day, it comes down to our execution as an offense. I mean, and it wasn't up to our standard toward the end of the game. Josh, what do you think about playing a game like this against Western Carolina, you know, a, a lower level team before you play Florida? Is it a chance for you to hone things up before Florida or, or would you rather go ahead and play a big game? I mean, no, I mean, we're, we're focused on this game. I think, you know, this is still an important game just like last game was because it's the next game, as I said last week. So this is still an important game. Um, we still have to come out ready to play, ready to go. Um, I mean, we can't. We still can't have an off day. We got to come out ready to play and ready to compete to get the win. How hard will it be not to be looking towards Florida though with this, this guy? I don't think it will be hard. I mean, our our our, our team understands. You know, every game is important. I mean, you, you got to be thankful for each opportunity. You have to step on the field, and you can't look ahead to other opponents. So, um, we know to focus on this week's task, and then Florida will come when it when it will come. I mean, it's like, you know, first game people are asking, you know, are you just looking ahead to Oklahoma? No, we're focused on Bowling Green. So, I mean, it's just the same this week. Do you, do you look at a game like this as a chance for, like, some of those young guys, Chance Hall, Jack Jones, um, Derek Kirkman Jr., to continue to try to hone their skills as they work for more playing time? I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't really know how the game's going to go. I can't really predict the future. So, we only can focus on, you know, each play the, from the first play and, and then move on from there. So, I'm not really sure who's going to get reps, but whoever will get reps and get in the game will come out and compete. Well, Josh, your accuracy, where do you see areas where you need to improve and how, looking back on the film, how, how much was just what Oklahoma was doing that was kind of bothering you? Can you know, I mean, as I said, you know, um, Oklahoma was hitting us up from multiple areas, so we were always picking it up or you know, just various things were going on. Each play is different, obviously. So there are all things that, you know, each position group can go back, work on it, and improve moving forward. I'm not sure yeah. if I heard you right up there, but it sounded like you said you, you felt like you guys got predictable. Is that right? And if so, how? No, I said Oklahoma was doing a good job not being predictable in the okay. pressures. All right. Josh, how would you, how was the communication with the receivers on, on Saturday with all the pressure, hot reads, all those things? Were you guys on the on the same page with all the pressure that was coming, or was the pressure just so much that there wasn't a whole lot of adjustments that could be done there? Uh, you know, our receivers were seeing it. And I, I mean, we were seeing where the pressures were coming. So, but um, you know, sometimes they'll bring it late. Sometimes they'll bring it, you know, delayed. And sometimes they'll bring it from depth. So it wasn't always like they were standing on the line saying, "We're coming from here, stop us." You know, they, they were doing a good job of disguising it and doing various stuff to, you know, to try to catch us off guard. Josh, how tough was it to go back and watch that game yesterday, knowing and seeing the missed chances and mistakes that, that cost you guys, particularly in the second half? I mean, it wasn't really tough. I mean, obviously, I wanted to see where we can improve. I mean, as a competitor, you want to see what, what we did. And, and how we can get better. So it was a it was a great opportunity. I think. I, we took it as you know to to see how we can improve moving forward. So I mean, we picked out the things you know <clears throat> moving forward that we need to do, and we'll continue to learn from them today. So um, you know, it's just another great opportunity to learn from the past and move on. What were those specific improvements that you can make in a short amount of time? Uh, I mean, you have a week, so. Um, that's, that's plenty of time to make improvements, but uh, as I said, it's just you know staying nine strong, holding each each position group accountable, you know for, for their <clears throat> given responsibilities on each play. Josh, you said they started bringing more pressure in, in the second half, particularly. Did they bring it more to one side or the other? No, I mean they were mixing it up. You know they would bring it left, bring it right, bring it from both ends, and bring it up the middle. So, you know they they, they were they were and you know we were looking back on the the pressure chart, and I mean that wasn't like they're bringing the same pressure multiple plays in a row. So they they were mixing it up and bringing it from all over the place. Did you kind of expect that out of the front that they have because it's kind of a three four? They mix it up a lot. Did you kind of expect them to? Yeah, I mean they played it? a four down front the first game, mm -hmm. and you know we we knew coming into the game that they were probably going to go down go down to a bare front, three down front with two stand ups and two linebackers coming into this game, which they did as predicted. So um, in that front, I mean, it's a lot more man coverage in the back end, a lot more pressure from the stand-up linebackers and the internal linebackers. So just got to be alert for pressure coming anywhere. Regarding your play personally, how do you feel about the way you've done these first two weeks and where do you see room for improvement? I think, you know, um, with, with any play, there's always room for improvement, as I've always said, you know, each week is going back, seeing um, where I can improve what I can do to help this team get better. So um, you know, I have my notes, I have my things I need to improve on, and I'll continue to do that moving forward. You guys have played a couple of teams that will contend for conference championships in your first eight quarters. How tested do you think the offense is at this point? You know, we're very tested. We know moving forward, though, I mean, there's obviously going to be bigger tests moving forward once we get into SEC play. So I think, you know, the first two games obviously are preparing us well moving forward. As I said, they're great learning opportunities, but it's always great to go against top caliber uh, you know, teams and, and see how you compare. So obviously, you know, we, we, we know we were one play away from the last game. We were able to come out the first game and dominate. So um, we, we have that in the back of our heads and, and we're moving forward. What's, 